Hi, and welcome back to Eating Well with Rochelle. So as you might be able to tell by my super awesome hat, we are going to um, be featuring Pure, um, which is a gum company this week. They hooked me up with some awesome swag, this hat and this bag. And they also sent me like every single flavor they have. Um, I don't want to bore you all by just trying different flavors of gum and mints, so I'm going to try a couple gum flavors and a couple mint flavors. Um, but just to go over the flavors they do have and um, the qualities of this brand. So it is aspartame free. That's a big deal to them. It's actually on the other side of my hat. Cake aspartame. <laughs> so it's aspartame free. It's gluten free. It's non-GMO. Um, it's vegan, sugar-free, nut and peanut-free, uh, soy-free, and it's Swiss-made. So that's for the gums. Um, it looks like... Ah, so that's the gum characteristics. Then they have mints, and the mints are um, uh, xylitol-based, and they're gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, nut and peanut-free, and Swiss-made. So... Um, to go over the flavors that they sent me, for gum, I have spearmint, chocolate mint, which is pretty cool, I've never seen that before, wintergreen, and peppermint. So I'm going to trial um, wintergreen because that's always been my favorite gum flavor, and then chocolate mint because it's so different. And then for the mints, they sent me um, peppermint. Uh, tangerine Tango and Polar Mint. So I'll probably do the Tangerine Tango and the Polar Mint since those ones are very different sounding. So let's get started with Winter Green. So that has a super fantastic flavor. Really nice and strong, which is the whole point of gum, right? Is to fix your breath. So I really like that. Um, it doesn't taste like it's like artificially created mint flavor, which is always nice because most other gums, they are just made with garbage ingredients. So I really like that one. Definitely would give it a G. Like I said, wintergreen's my favorite mint flavor. So let's see how chocolate mint can stand up to that. So the first bite, I didn't really like it. Um... But then as I kept chewing, and I think releasing the flavor, it turned into like literally gum version of Olive Garden mints at the end of dinner, which I miss because I can't eat them now. I don't know about you all, but gum version of that sounds good to me, so I give that one a G also. Alright, so moving on to mints, let's start with Polar Mint. Um, these are like little, re, uh, they have like a zippery thing so you can seal it up which is nice to make sure everything stays fresh so. so polar mint means menthol did not realize that um it tastes fine i just wasn't expecting menthol um, if that's what you're looking for though and if you don't mind the taste of menthol i give this a g but if you don't like menthol um which is kind of cough syrup cough droppy um, you won't know. You won't like this. I would not buy this flavor. So, just so you know, <laughs> that is what polar mint means. Let's try tangerine tango. Hopefully a little less menthol. Mmm. Really good. Really, 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 really good. G+. Plus. Um, I feel like they're from Trader Joe's, but I have not seen them in a long time, so maybe they discontinued those tangerine mint things. That's exactly what this tastes like, um, which is exciting, because I don't know if I can have those ones anymore, but now I know I can have these. So, G+++++++++. Well, thank you for coming on this, uh, journey with me, and finding out why Pure Kicks Aspartame. Uh, if you've ever had Pure's products, feel free to let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Share it with all your friends because 
most people who chew gum or have mints all the time are not realizing like it's just straight up chemicals. So they really could benefit from this video, even if they don't have allergies.